Well, as the war wears on between Russia and Ukraine, thousands of Ukrainian refugees and displaced families face a dark December. That's where the Knights of Columbus has stepped in. To date, the organization has raised nearly $20 million and distributed more than 3 million pounds of food to those affected by the war. What's more, earlier this month, Supreme Knight Patrick Kelly visited Poland and Ukraine with the promise, you are not alone. And joining us tonight is Supreme Knight Patrick Kelly of the Knights of Columbus with more on his trip. Mr. Kelly, great to be with you as always. Uh, I know this was your second visit to both countries uh, this year. Your thoughts on the second time around and what struck you the most? Well, you know, what I came away from was the sense that uh, Ukraine is in a prolonged conflict. When I was there in April, I think no one was sure how long this would go. And now I think everyone is settling in for a long conflict. And the situation, as I found it, is even more desperate than before because of the cold, right? So we're, we're getting into the coldest winter months in Ukraine, and the Russians are deliberately hitting the power grid. That is causing uh, Ukrainians and Ukrainian refugees in particular to really be suffering uh, at this time during the cold. Yeah, and I understand you met with both church and political leaders while you were there, um, including Polish pres President uh, Andrzej Duda. Talk to us about that meeting, and I know that you gave him a very special gift. Yeah, it was a it was a great meeting, and and part of the reason I wanted to meet with him was to thank him for all that he is doing for Ukrainian refugees. But I was also thanking the Polish people. You know, the 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 Poles are very proud of the fact that there are no refugee camps in Poland. That that Poles have opened up their hearts and opened up their homes uh, for for refugees. So what I did was I gave the Polish president uh, two things. The first. First was the Caritas Award, which is an award that the Knights of Columbus have for exemplary sacrifice for charity. So I gave him that award for all the Polish people are doing. But I also gave him a relic of Blessed Michael McGivney, the founder of the Knights, who, who really founded the Knights to care for widows and orphans. And so much of what they're doing uh, for Ukrainian refugees is caring for women and children who are in desperate need, because uh, as we all know, the husbands are mostly on the eastern front of the war in the eastern part of Ukraine. So I would say my meeting with the president was really a, an excellent one. Yeah, wonderful. And they are doing just phenomenal work over there in Poland. Um, let's talk about the food and money the Knights have raised for the people of Ukraine. And also, what are the most urgent needs that you've seen on the ground right now? So over the course of the last few months, the Knights have delivered 100,000 care packages into the interior of Ukraine. And for many Ukrainians, that will be the Christmas present that they that they get this year because of the, the desperate situation. You know, one of the strengths of the Knights of Columbus is that we have members in in Ukraine and in Poland. So we have families there who are members of the Knights. So we're not an aid agency that is sort of here today and gone tomorrow. We're, we're part of the communities there. So that has allowed us to deliver aid right to where it needs to go. The most urgent need now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is is just the, the problem with heat and electricity. So right now what we're doing is we're providing generators uh, through the through the funding that the Knights have raised through our Ukraine Solidarity Fund. We're able to provide generators uh, into, into Ukraine, into parishes uh, and other warming centers just to keep uh, refugees warm during these very difficult months. We're also working on a demining project that is the areas where the Russians have moved back from, they've laid mines, so land mines. So what we've had to do is we're partnering with some other uh, entities to go in there and work on remo removing those landmines because that, they pose a tremendous threat uh, to Ukrainian families, but especially to Ukrainian children who are really hurt by these by these mines in a very serious way. And before I let you go, Mr. Kelly, really quickly, if folks would like to help out, how can they do so? 
First thing they can do is pray, but the, the, the most immediate thing I would think is to, is to give to our Ukraine Solidarity Fund. And people can do that by going to our Knights of Columbus website. That's kofc.org slash Ukraine and give to the Ukraine Solidarity Fund. And we'll leave it right there. Mr. Kelly, thank you so much for all that you and the Knights do. We appreciate it. We're grateful for your time and Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you, Tracy.